had a few requests following up from the phase antiphase video and people said oh it's really cool to see it on a car and how it works but we would like to see a valve and the effects it has just physically showing it under the action of a pump so that's what we've decided to do here so what we have is our wastegate that we've prepared with our 5.4 psi base spring pressure or base spring fitted inside it you can see that it's relatively very easy to open up the valve with your thumbs you don't have to be a he-man to do it what we'll do is we'll show the pressure effect opening up the valve through the phase side so remember the phase side is is the bit in an external gate that forces the valve to open up against the action of the base spring keep in mind in this type of construction you have an internal bushing which guides the valve and there's quite a wide clearance there because the valve head runs very very hot there's a lot of thermal expansion so when you're doing a bench test like this at ambient temperature you're going to have a bit of leakage come down so unless you're testing it on an air compressor with a large accumulator doing it on a quasi penis pump hand pump here it's going to be hard but we've done a few little modifications in here for it to retain a little bit more pressure for the purpose of this test so let's go ahead and hook up our connection Let's run this up. Right, you can see there we've got 9 psi out of pressure and the valve opens and closes. We'll do that again, showing the valve opening. See the valve opening there. And the valve closing. Disconnect that, leave it open, put it on the antiphase side, which is the closing side in this example. And pump that up. Put the gauge here so you can see it. So we've got 11 psi of pressure and we'll show you that you cannot, for the love of sweet Jesus, open that valve. And that's the beauty of running antiphase control while having nothing hooked up to the phase side. It's virtually impossible to open the head of that valve. 